hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be making cod with lemon and dill burro blank with cauliflower potato mash and sauteed broccoli <music> So the first step is to peel and wash the potatoes. The next step is to cut the potatoes into medium sized bits. And then I'm gonna put them in a bowl and set them aside. So in this next step, I'm gonna pick the dill fonts of the stems then I'm going to discard the stems and then finally chop the fonts and set it aside to be used later. In this next step, I'm going to cut off and discard the root end of the scallion, then thinly slice the scallion, separating the white bottom and the green top, and then I'll set it aside for later as well. And this is the white bottom I was talking about. In this next step, I'm going to bring a medium pot of salted water to boil. So now that the water has reached a boiling point, I'm gonna add the potatoes that I sliced earlier on and then I'll add the cauliflower and the garlic then I'll boil it for about 14 to 16 minutes until it is very tender Okay, so while my potato is boiling, I'm going to cut the broccoli head into bite-sized florets. Then I also slice the broccoli stem, discarding the bottom inch.
Next, in a large pan, I'm gonna heat a drizzle of oil. I'm using olive oil on medium to high heat. Then I'll add the broccoli florets and stems, saute while stirring frequently for 5 to 7 minutes until it begins to brown. Then I'm gonna add one quarter cup of water and saute, stirring occasionally between two to three minutes until the water has evaporated and the broccoli is tender. Next, I'm gonna season with my SP spice blend and transfer to a plate and set aside in a warm spot. And then I'll reserve this pan for later. In this next step, I'm gonna thoroughly pat the cod fillet, which is the fish. I'm gonna pat it dry with paper towel. Next, I'm gonna season with the spice blend from before, making sure to season both sides thoroughly so that it doesn't come out bland. So the next step is to add the cod to the pan and sear for about 2-3 to three minutes per side until it is golden brown and cooked through. Now that my potato is cooked, I'm gonna drain it and then reserve the water because I might need it later. Then I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl and then add my butter, about two tablespoons of butter. Then I do not have a potato masher, so I'm gonna be using my regular hand mixer. It does the same thing for me, so well, that's what I use. Next, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of my spice blend to season the potato. Next, I'll be adding the green top of the scallion, which I set aside from earlier on, and then mix it into the potato. And this is me flipping my fish 
to the other side it's not easy at all like I kept having it falling off except one so now that it is thoroughly cooked I'm just gonna take it out and set it apart then in the same pan I'm gonna be adding a drizzle of olive oil on medium to low heat then I add the white bottom of the scallion and cook stirring frequently between one to two minutes until fragrant then I'll be adding my lemon juice and two tablespoons of water then I cook this mixture stirring frequently for one to two minutes until slightly evaporated I really messed up this um, this sauce like it's supposed to come out white but <laughs> mine came out something else so now I added three tablespoons of butter and um, stirring frequently for one to two minutes until it has thickened then I'm gonna be adding the heavy cream to the mixture and cook at this point I thought I could redeem this sauce but uh, it doesn't seem to be working out so I cook for one to two minutes until it has combined and then I turn off the heat and um, stir in some of the dill like half of the dill which I set aside from earlier on then I'm finally going to um, season with um, SMP spice blend to taste. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna serve the mashed potatoes first. Um, this is me putting just one portion on a plate. And then once I'm done with these, I'll just add the sauteed broccoli on top of it. Then I also put the cod which I said earlier on then the um, sauce which I made I just put it over the cord and then garnish it with the remaining dill so this sauce came out a bit oily instead of it to be white I don't know where the cream went but I'm definitely going to be trying it again and hopefully I'll be able to correct my mistake. Well, this is just me garnishing it with um, the dill from earlier on and this is the final dish. I'm really proud of myself. So thanks for watching.